All right, what is up everybody and welcome to this video where we're going to be talking a little bit about some guitar gear and how we can make uh, the Helix control analog uh, amplifiers using MIDI. Uh, so I've been exclusively a Helix guy for the past couple of years. I love the Helix. Uh, it's, it's super light, it's portable, and I've, I've enjoyed it for the last couple years. But I kind of got the itch to get back into the tube amp world, and I ended up picking up this Diesel D Mall, and uh, you know I love it, and I love being able to just have that kind of like cabinet in the room feel. Um, but one of the reasons I got it was because it did have MIDI capability. Now I've never done MIDI; I've never really understood how MIDI works with guitar gear. I never really understood it, um, but I knew that with MIDI that I was able to. Um, I would be able to control the amplifier using the Helix as a MIDI controller. Uh, so I can keep using the Helix for all of my effects. Uh, I can do um, effects loops through the amp and all that sort of stuff, but being able to control uh, the amplifier, change channels uh, and, and turn on and off certain parameters and stuff like that um, was, was really kind of keen. And so um, we're gonna kind of walk through that a little bit and um, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna talk about how to set up the Helix to be a MIDI controller. So this is a brand new preset. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to our three lines, which is our menu. And we're gonna go to Command Center. And so this is kind of the layout of how Command Center works. You got these uh, six lightning bolts. Uh, those are instant commands and they're kind of tied to your snapshots. So uh, if you have different snapshots, it will instantly send these commands uh, based on your snapshot. Uh, but we are going to just focus on these bottom four. This is foot switch eight, nine, 10, and 11. These are the four we're gonna work with to do. We're gonna set up basically four switches to do four different configurations on the amp via MIDI. So uh, one thing for this particular amp, there's a lot of MIDI options. You have uh, MIDI CC, you have CC toggle, bank program, uh, note on, some things like that. So I wasn't sure which one applied to this particular amp. But after some uh, trial and error, I landed on bank and program, and that is what the, what works for the diesel. Uh, the two parameters that we're gonna look at most are a MIDI channel and program. We're not gonna worry about these two bank CC um, parameters. We're not gonna worry about those. Uh, so bank program, a MIDI channel. So right now it's set to bass, and what bass is, it's kinda like a global default. So that any preset that you have, if it's set to MIDI bass, it will just default to a certain MIDI channel. And the way that you find that is you go again back to your menu. We're going to go to global settings. We're going to go over to MIDI tempo. And our very first thing there is MIDI bass channel. So it's defaulted to one. So anytime any preset that you have that is set to MIDI bass, it's really just MIDI channel one. Um, we're going to go back to our command center foot switch eight. Okay. So we're going to set this one up for, um, MIDI channel one and program. We'll just say program zero. Uh, and then just for grins, we're going to move over here. We're going to set up another one bank program, MIDI channel two program one, uh, bank MIDI channel three program two and bank program midi channel four program three okay so uh so right now so we've got program midi channels um one two three and four programs zero one two and three hopefully that's not too confusing it's just kind of an off offset of one um, okay, so we've got these three switches, or these four switches, I'm sorry, uh, set up to, to send MIDI commands to different channels. So we're going to hop over to the amp real quick, and we're going to see uh, how it's set up. We know what, what MIDI channel is it configured for, and we're going to run through a couple of the different modes, uh, MIDI channel modes that this amp offers, and how to set that channel, the MIDI channel manually. Okay. So first we're just gonna see what, uh, how the amp is set up and what MIDI channel it is currently set up for. And the way that we do that in this amplifier is we hold down the mute switch. 
Okay, we hold down the mute switch and we see that uh, there's no LEDs at all. So that means that we're not in Omni mode. And it also means that because channel one, two, and three are all off, that we're set up for channel one, okay? So uh, Omni mode. So what Omni mode is in this particular amp, if it's set up in Omni mode, no matter what MIDI channel you send, it will accept that program regardless of the MIDI channel. So if you have multiple MIDI devices, it is highly recommended that you do not use Omni mode. Uh, if this is your only MIDI device, you can use Omni mode. Uh, there's certainly no harm in it. Uh, this for me is my only MIDI device, but I am gonna, uh, we're gonna go through Omni mode real quick. So this is how you set it up in Omni mode. Oh, uh, just turned on the mute. Hold down the mute switch. Okay, everything comes off and we hit master two. And you see that mid cut, master two, and the three LEDs are all illuminated. That means we are in omni mode. Okay, so we're gonna hop back over to the helix. So you remember we have MIDI channel one, two, three, and four. So all four of these switches should work because we're in the amplifier, we're in omni mode. So it doesn't matter what channel we have set up for each of these switches. So we hit this one, it does a program. We hit this one, it's a different program, channel three and channel four, and they're all on different channels, but the amp is taking it, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out of Omni mode, and we're gonna, so the way we do that is again, we hold down the mute switch, and then we hit that master two switch, okay? Everything goes off. And again, uh, we are currently in, uh, we're set up for channel one, MIDI channel one, because it off, off, and off in the manual, in the user's manual, that's what it says is MIDI channel one, is when those three are off, okay? So uh, right now, uh, only this first switch sh should be the only one that works, okay? So we hit it, yeah, something happened, and then this one, nothing, nothing, and nothing. Um, so yeah, and so now, let's say we wanna be uh, in channel four, okay? I think the way you get on channel four is one is on and two is on while holding down the mute switch. Now we're set up in channel four. So now this switch should be the only one that works. So we're gonna do this, 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 nothing. And then this one, the loop came on. So that's that's program four, okay. So I like to be in in channel one, MIDI channel one. That just, that, it just kind of makes sense to me. It's my first device, it's my only device. Okay, so now the amp is set up to be MIDI channel one. We'll come back over to the Helix, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have all four of these set up to be MIDI channel one, okay? So we're gonna come over here, we touch this one, it's MIDI channel one, program zero, foot switch nine, maybe, here we go, all right. MIDI channel one, program one, foot switch 10, MIDI channel one, program two, Foot switch 11, MIDI channel one, program three. So now, effectively, it'll work kind of like it did in Omni mode. All four of these switches should work. So that disengaged the loop. That did a bunch of changes there. We went from channel three to channel two, and we went from channel two to channel one. I think master two went off. Cool, so now we, we are using MIDI to make changes on the amp, okay? So we did that successfully, but now, uh, let's say, okay, we go to, uh, let's see, program zero. Right, so we hit program zero. All right, it's channel one with the mid cut on. I don't want it to do that. I want to set up channel one to be a mute, okay? So we're going to program the amp now. We're going to program the amp, amp's MIDI program zero, the zero program, and we want it to be a mute. So we're in the zero program. I'm fine with it being in channel one. I'm going to take the mid cut out and then I want the mute to be on. So I hit mute, and you can see the mute is engaged because it's, it's flashing, okay? So this is what I want program zero to be. And so uh, the way that we're gonna save it is we're gonna hit store, and you see that now store is the only light that's flashing, and then we're gonna, say, we're gonna hit it again, and that saves that program. So now, and it went back, and it, the mute is currently on. So if I go to a different program, okay, and I go back to, to this foot switch, which is program zero, and then our mute. So this is the one we just programmed, program zero, okay? So now I'm gonna come over here to this, uh, this switch, which is foot switch nine, MIDI channel one, program one. So I'm gonna hit it, 
So this is what program one looks like. I don't want program one to be channel three with the mid cut, with the master two and the loop. I want it to be channel one. I don't need the mid cut and I don't need the master. So this is what I want program one to look like. Channel one with the loop, okay? So I'm gonna hit store. It's flashing. I'm gonna do it again to save it. And so now, now we've got these two are programmed exactly like we want them. This is our mute. This is our channel one with the loop. All right, so we're gonna go over here to this foot switch, foot switch 10, program two. We're gonna hit it, okay? It's already on channel two, I'm cool with that. Um, I, I want the mid cut, uh, I don't need the master two, but I want the loop, so we were close. Um, so this is, this, now this is what I want program two to look like. So I'm gonna hit store, it's flashing and I hit it again and now it's saved. So again, back over here, we got over here, this is our mute. This is our channel one. This is our channel two. We come over here. All right, and this is program. This is program three. I want program three to be channel three, right? So this is, this is close. I wanna go, I want channel three on. Uh, I want the mid cut. I don't need the loop, but I do want master two. Okay. So this is what I want my program three to look like. And again, so I'm going to hit store. Store is flashing. It's asking me, are you sure that you want to save it? I hit it again. It says, yes, I want to save it. So there we go. So we saved. So we've just programmed not only the helix to be our MIDI controller, but then we've also programmed the amplifier with the certain programs in, in the right order that we want them in, according to the program number that we want. So I got zero is a mute, one is my channel one, two is my channel two, three is my channel three, and so there you go, I pretty much got everything like I want. Uh, this particular amp will store up to 128 different MIDI programs. I don't think it's possible to have that many different combinations, but it's out there just in case, maybe future expansion, I don't know. But anyways, uh, so that kind of, that basically wraps it up for this video. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And if you did, please like and subscribe and share. Uh, we'd hope to have more uh, guitar gear related videos coming out soon. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, keep rocking the suburbs.